Sometimes you just want to replace characters within a large amount of text. I got a little example here and we're going to start here on the left. Let's say that we want to replace the sixth character. So that's the dash and we want to replace that with a forward slash. We could do that with the building command that Excel has on the home tab. There is in the ribbon, you can see in the editing part, the editing group, we have replace of course. So if we say dash for forward slash and we do replace all in this selection, and then all done, we made four replacements. Okay, that's great. Now let's undo that and click here. And now what can we do with the replace function? If we type is replace and then Excel wants to know a couple of things. It wants to know the alt text. Well, the alt text is just B2. Okay. And then here is the big difference because now it says start number. So this is number based and we want to do um, the sixth character. So we type six here. And then the number of characters that we want to replace. Well, that's only one because we want to change the dash. And then there is, of course, the new text. And the new text would be here, the forward slash. So I'll just type the forward slash and close the function and press enter. And then we can see that the new value here is with a slash. And of course, we can copy that by double clicking on it. And here you go, here you have your function. So this is totally uh, based on the number. So where, or in other words, position based. We can do the same thing here. And what we got here is replace the forward slash with dash NL dash. Okay, well, is replace. And then we need to know it's the third character in this case. So the alt text is this. And in that alt text, the start number is three. The number of characters that we want to replace, not that we want to add, but that we want to replace is one. So we can do that. It's just a forward slash. And then, of course, we need to add the new text. And in this case, it's dash nl dash and we close it and let's see what happens there you go so the forward slash is now replaced by dash nl dash and we can copy that one too all right so position based replacement it's different than the replace function that is built in now let's look at a different problem here we have also four uh, cells with data and now the assignment here is that we want to replace the second dash with a backslash well we could use the replace function here however there is a problem because the first two have the same position but the third one the second dash is not in the same position as in the previous one so how do we do that well there's another function for that and we can use that substitute function so is substitute and we want to use this text and then Excel wants to know the old text. So this one is text based. What do we want to replace? That's the main question. Well, we want to replace a dash and now the new text is a backslash and then it wants to know the instance number. So what's the instance number? Well, it's the second one or the first one. And in this case, we want to replace the second one. And now we're going to close this, press enter. And there you have it, the second dash. But we could have done this with the replace function. The problem is right there. So let's see how does this work. We double click and there you go. Let's take a close look at what happened. So here it got replaced, there it got replaced, and there. So that one worked great, uh, even though it's shorter in length because it doesn't matter. And this one didn't change at all because there is no second dash. Well, that was easy. And now we can do this one as well. And let's take a look at the example where you replace another one. Um, 
substitute. Let's do it one more time. The text. The text is this one. The old text. What do we want to replace? Well, again, we want to replace a dash. So the dash gets replaced. The new text is more than one character. Does it really matter? No, it doesn't. But we're still going to try. And now here is our example. We need to uh, replace the first one. So the first instance one and then we're going to close it. And here we go. The dash got replaced by the letters NL. Now we're going to copy this and we can see that it worked perfectly even with the last one because there is a first dash. So there you have it. Two functions, maybe three. We have the built-in replace function right there. And then there's replace and there's substitute or position based, string based or text based.